Hi everybody, this is Dark Onion here again with another tutorial. Uh, today we'll be installing Fission 2.4 using Fission ROM Manager, uh, which is a application that will now do all your installing of ROMs for you. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, your phone needs to be rooted. Um, if you if you haven't had your phone rooted yet, uh, click my name uh, near this window, and you'll find a, a variety of uh, various rooting videos uh, to help you get going. Uh, the second and third thing you need is uh, you'll need Fission ROM Manager application installed and you need the Couch Bootstrapper already installed. Both of these uh, applications need root so uh, you definitely need to do the the root uh, before you install those two. Um, I don't have videos uh, or tutorials on how to install the two. It's pretty straightforward. You just uh, download the uh, the two applications to your computer, um, hook up your phone, uh, place them on the SD card and use a pro an application like uh, like any any file explorer um, or Astro File Manager to install the program. You just click and choose install. Alright, so let's get going here. Uh, here I have my phone. I have already have um, I already have Couch Bootstrapper right here. And I have Fission Raw Manager right here. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the, the Droid 2 Bootstrap or Droid X Bootstrap if you have that. And you want to do Bootstrap Recovery. And it's going to say Success. Press OK. And go back out and then go to Fission Raw Manager. Okay. And down here in Fission Raw Manager, um, you're gonna, if you haven't done so already, you're going to click it and it's going it's to list all the downloads available. The second one from the top, is or under ROMs, is going to be Fission 2.4, this one right here. And what you need to do is you need to download it first. So when you first click it, it's going to ask you if you want to download. Click yes. I've already downloaded it. It takes, um, it's a somewhat large file. I think maybe like 120 megabytes. So it does take a little while to download. Uh, the best thing for you to do is uh, enable your wireless connection before you start the download. That's going to make the, the download a lot faster. I've already downloaded so we're just going to go from the install process. So um, you're going to click it. It's going to ask, you're going to click it again after you're done installing it's going to ask you do you want to install Fission 2.4 and the install key. Press yes. After you do that, this button right here which is install key will uh, enable. Click that and it's going to give you a bunch of options. It's going to bring you to a new screen and give you a bunch of options. All right. Um, I do recommend creating a backup before install. I've already done this before as well. Uh, it is a little time consuming, but you do want to check this one right here, the uh, create backup before install. And then uh, there's a pull down menu with don't wipe. There's three options. Uh, don't wipe, wipe cache, wipe cache and data. If you are coming from stock or um, you, you're not really sure what to do, click wipe cache and data, which is the last one. Um, I'm upgrading from a previous version of Fission, so I'm not doing don't wipe, but to be safe, uh, if you've never done this before, choose the last one, which is wipe cache and data. Okay? And then click install. And it's going to be, it's going to ask you for super user, allow, and then your phone is going to reboot. Okay. And there you go, you see the Motorola logo. And then it's gonna you're gonna see uh, a bunch of text and with the and it's gonna start installing your Fission 2.4. If you chose uh, if you chose the backup option, which I didn't do, like I said, I've already created a backup. It's gonna backup first, and then it's gonna start running this uh, this Fission install.
and that's it. That's installing it. In a minute here, we're gonna reboot, and when we get back to um, when the interface gets back up, you'll find that you are now in Fission 2.4. my custom boot animation. If this boot animation takes a little while, that is completely normal. You know, give it a reasonable amount of time. Um, it could take anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes. Any longer than that, chances are uh, you probably need to, um, you know, well, it's not working. You probably should pull the battery and, and give it a try again. Anyways, while we're waiting for this, uh, please check out my website at kimete.com, that's K-I-M-E-T-E.com, where you can find more information about all types of Android-related stuff. Um, I, I'm always posting up about something new, and then I also have this experiment where I have this um, Andy Android plushie that I'm sending around to a bunch of people, which is a lot of fun. So if you're interested in that, drop me an email. All the information is on my website. And there, anyways, here we are, back again. Um, I'm gonna check settings here. And there we are. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I can. Oh, and it says uh, Fission 2.4. And that's it, that's how I install Fission uh, using uh, ROM Manager, or Fission ROM Manager. Dark Onion out.